Welcome guys. In today's video, we are talking about seven celebrity marriages that ended that God tanks wagon. The first one is Nina Lowo Bolan Lee. This one actually got people talking and this is because after all the celebrity couple goals, pictures and videos that they kept sharing on Instagram, suddenly uh, Bolan Lee came out to announce to people that their marriage had crashed. And guys found it so hard to believe though he did not give reasons as to why, but he only mentioned that the marriage had ended under irreconcilable differences. The second on the list is the marriage of Funke Akindele to the husband JJC Skills, who just woke up one morning and came out and wrote to people, Dear friends and family, I need to let you know that Funke and I have separated. While it lasted, we shared many things, and I've created two beautiful children. His post read, The last two years have been tough for us. I have tried my best to fix things, but I believe it is beyond repair now. Surprisingly, even though this marriage ended, these two have still been seen together everywhere because they normally work together, they have a company, they are running together, and therefore, they still run things together regardless of the fact that they are actually divorced officially now. On the third of my list, I have Cora Obidi. She is a talented Nigerian dancer, musician, and model who got married to an American doctor, Justin Dean, in 2018. Their marriage lasted four years. And then Dean came and announced he was quitting the marriage in 2022 March. According to Cora's ex-husband that he met in China on a popular dating app known as Tinder, that 34-year-old American said his ex-wife verbally abused their child and also hurt him. Dean also said emotionally he was hurt, hence leaving the union. He said, many of you know I divorced Cora because we got into an argument and Cora says things to hurt me sometimes and she repeatedly told me that she regretted that June, their first daughter ever been born. Surprisingly, ever since this marriage ended, Dean has not rested. He always comes online most times to come and embarrass Cora, to try and rubbish her name in the mud and stuff like that. Also surprisingly, ever since this marriage or this union ended, Cora has been seen achieving many things in her life, like she has been able to buy house properties both in abroad and back in Nigeria, which left people thinking, could it be that the man used to use Cora's money for his own benefit? And now that they are no longer together, she handles her money herself. Therefore, she is able to actually save and buy investments and all that. The next marriage that ended that left people surprised and tongues wagging if of the Nollywood actress, amazing philanthropist, Tonto D.K. Tonto D.K. is a popular Nigerian actress and also a humanitarian. And she got married to an entrepreneur and a philanthropist, Ola Kunle Churchill, on 2015, August 29th. Churchill left the marriage in 2017, citing falsity and domestic violence for his reason to walk out of the marriage that was blessed with one kid. Churchill said our marriage was plagued with several frivolous claims of falsity, ranging from domestic violence to false allegations and all what not. I never laid my hands on her. I have never done that in my life before. She made up those things to discredit my philanthropic works. I am from a proper disciplined Yoruba home. After this marriage ended, Tonto granted interviews where apparently she said Churchill was sleeping with his secretary, Rosie Mauer, and this proved to be true because shortly after that marriage ended, Churchill ended up marrying that lady. 
the lady who apparently at first was Tonto's friend, but now not a friend anymore because she's the one that was taking her husband away from her. She also granted interviews where she said that Churchill made false uh, claims of him being related to Obasanjo. And therefore, the marriage was built on lies, and therefore there was no trust. She also said how Churchill was into cult, and that there is a time she walked into him, tying into red wrappers, red clothes, red scarves, praying in a silent secret room in the house, where he normally did not allow anybody to enter. She also said that the man was into a cult, and when she actually tried to ask him questions about it, the man refused to answer. She also mentioned that after the marriage ended, the man left her empty-handed and therefore she had to sell the jeep to take care of their child. Tonto, who has been doing so well ever since the marriage ended, is an epitome example of a woman who was in a very bad marriage and suddenly was set free. The next one on our list is Julius Agu. Julius Agu is a renowned and successful Nigerian stand-up comedian. He is an actor and a writer. He got married to Ibiere in 2008, but then the marriage didn't work. The marriage managed to survive for 14 years, though. The comedian claimed Ibiere abandoned her matrimonial home because of his ill health. Agu also said that he was diagnosed with a brain tumor and when three tumors were found in his brain, Agu noted that his sickness had taught him a lot of lessons because that is when his wife left. He said in his words and I quote, I have learned a lot about life. I don't want to say some things, but the fact is that I have grown. Life has taught me that it is important to strategize. Next on our list is Masi Ayigbe. Masi Ayigbe is a Nigerian actress, film producer, and fashionista. She is also a businesswoman. She and Larry Gentry, an entrepreneur, got married on 19 December 2013. Aigbe and Gentry first separated in 2017 and later got divorced in 2019, with both of them laying claims of excuses and claims of infidelity. While Gentry accused Aigbe of sleeping around, the latter blamed her ex's mother, her ex-husband's mother, for the failure of their marriage. The actress got married to Kazima Dioti shortly after her alleged ex-husband's friend. Aigbe said this about her first marriage. I had a bad experience the first time, so I had some reservations and I just wanted to face my career. Even though I loved him, I was happy and scared at the same time. Then I was young and naive. Now I handle issues differently. Also, the major reason my first marriage failed was because my ex-husband mom did not want him to marry from another tribe. Next on our list is Chinedu, that is Nedu. Chinedu Ani Emmanuel, popularly known as Nedu. He is a journalist, an actor, and a comedian. He married Uzo Amaka in 2013, but their marriage crashed in 2018. Their marriage produced three children, though. The comedian claimed his marriage had been dissolved, but... Ohiri has said otherwise, challenging him to produce the divorce papers. Nedu's and strange wife, Ohiri, on September 3rd, 2021, called out Nedu for domestic violence. She accused him of battering her a few weeks after she was delivered of their child through cesarean section. Countering her, Nedu on September 4th, 2021, Nedu responded to his wife's allegation and denied physical vi physically violating his wife.
claiming that their first son is not his. He wrote, our marriage was plagued with a lot of issues, one of which was continuous infidelity from her side that led to me conducting a paternity test on our kids, which led to the revelation that our first son is not my biological son, even though he was born within the period during which we were married. Well, guys, that marks the end of this video. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you like this kind of content, please like, share, and subscribe. And let's meet in our next video. You're still watching Famous Lakes with Linda Frank Raphael. Stay blessed and have peace.